Hello, my name is David Hilson, the Risk Doctor. I'd like to talk to you briefly about why managing risk is important in projects. And there are several reasons. The first is that all projects are risky. Projects are undertaken by organisations on behalf of their stakeholders, taking risk in order to create benefits. And what we're doing in projects as a unique endeavour which hasn't been done before is necessarily involving uncertainty which can affect our achievement of our objectives. And if we define risk as uncertainty that matters or uncertainty that affects objectives, then clearly we have to manage that uncertainty proactively if we want to give ourselves the best chance of meeting our objectives. So because all projects are risky, clearly we need to have some formal approach to managing that risk in order to have successful projects. But the other reason that risk management is really important is that managing risk makes the difference between success and failure because we always plan to succeed. And in our project plan, we lay out a, a, a step from A to B. This is from beginning to end. This is how we're going to achieve our project objectives. And then we start the project and we follow the plan. But always something happens along the way that wasn't in the plan, something we hadn't foreseen, something that was unexpected. And those things that we hadn't got in the plan, those are risks. Those are things that we hadn't foreseen but could affect us achieving our objectives. And so what we need to do is to have some kind of forward-looking risk radar that scans the future, that looks ahead and says, what's coming in my direction? What might affect my ability to achieve my objectives? Now I've started the project. And those things are risks. We can identify risks, assess the important ones, plan and implement responses, and then review to see how things are going. So risk management, our ability to, our ability to manage those things which are going to affect our achievement of objectives is directly correlated to our ability to meet our project objectives. If you don't uh, include risk management in your management of projects, you will fail. The only question is by how much. And so risk management is that discriminator that gives us the ability to give ourselves the best possible chance to optimise our ability to meet our objectives. But there's one other really important thing to remember about risk. Not all risks are bad. We usually think of risk as being a, a, a negative thing, something that takes us off course, costs extra money, extra time, damages performance, destroys reputation. And of course, those things are true. They could affect us and we need to see them and manage them. But there are also uncertainties that if they occurred, might save us time, might save us money, might enhance our performance. Opportunities are one type of risk along with threats. And a mature, proper, best practice risk management process uh, manages both threats and opportunities alongside each other. And by minimising our downside, maximising our upside, we give ourselves the best possible chance of succeeding. So because all projects are risky, because risks will happen even on the best, uh, best planned projects, and because risks include not only the bad things that we need to minimise, but the good things that we need to capture, Managing risk is a key part of managing projects. And if you're a project management professional at any level, whether it's in the project office, the project manager, the project sponsor or the project director, you need to know what your risks are and you need to manage them proactively. Well, I hope you found that helpful as a very brief introduction to why managing risk in projects is important. And I wish you success with all of your projects as you go ahead and manage those risks. Thank you very much.